Hey everybody, let's look at strings now. Strings. Everybody loves string cheese, right? But what about Lua strings? Let's do it. Let's see what we can do. So in the past, we've talked about how this is a string. When I hit refresh there, it prints it out, hello. But we can also write it with one apostrophe there, one quote. Boom, it will also spit it out. And we can also do it like this with two brackets on each side. And it'll spit it out as well. All right, so those are several different ways. And you're gonna see the reason why you would use, say for example, this one right here. We would say, hello, Mr. Pelican. All right, watch this. So it'll print it up with quotes, so Mr. Pelican is in quotes there, which is really, really handy. Okay, so if you ever have to do an apostrophe or something like that, you wanna make sure that that's how you do it, okay? So you can come up here if you wanna do an actual like apostrophe, hello, and we say, it's me. Let's see what that does, let's see if that brings it up. And it does put the apostrophe in there, okay? So with quotes, you would want, with um, an apostrophe, you would need to do quotes or double brackets, something like that. Um, but otherwise, you're, you're good to go. So those are the different ways if you're going to, especially during some specific text. Uh, the other way or the other thing you might need to know is how to actually do a, a new line or something. So if I say hello, if I'm doing the beginning of a letter or something like that, new N, I am here to help. And then now, when we come here, we do print. It prints out hello, and then it says I am here to help on a new line. Whereas when something like this comes up, we can say hello, and we do slash T, and this is a tab. Boom, and it will tab over. Does that make sense? So those are several different ways that you can use the strings there. Uh, do not forget that you can concatenate as well. So, for example, if I say print, I do math.py, doot, 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 and let's just say this is pi. And we forgot the quotes over here. Then let's hit refresh it. And it says 3.1415, all that big number stuff. And this is pi. Put a space in there. And there it is, that's called concatenating. That's joining two phrases, strings, numbers together. You can both do strings together and you can do numbers together as well, okay? That's pretty neat. All right, now there are specific functions that you can use that have to do with strings as well. So for example, let's pull up a couple of these. You can turn a whole letter into lowercase or uppercase. So it is string dot lower, and let's just say the uppercase is brother, boom. And then we're going to print now. Oops, I did that backwards. You gotta come here and do print, boom. All right, so let's hit refresh, and there it is. And it does the lowercase, does that make sense? And we can, now we can store this as a particular variable so let's just say word equals that and then we're going to print word and let's hit refresh and it still does brother whereas now what we can do we can print the string dot upper of word and you can imagine what it's going to do it's going to actually do the uppercase of brother it finds a lowercase of the first one on line four it makes it lower and then on line five it makes it uppercase as well so for example, if you had a word um, that was not all uppercase, something like that, you could then turn it into lowercase, all lowercase, and then turn it into uppercase if you wanted to make it all uppercase like that. Does that make sense? So if only one letter was uppercase or something like that, capital uh, case, and then you could change it as well. So you can also find the length of something. So right here we'll do the length of word, hit refresh there, and it tells me that there are seven letters in the word. So brother, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So string.len is the length of that specific word as well. 
Okay, so another cool function here is a string.find. And what this is going to do, for example, let's go back to our brother word. And we are going to find the position of t in this particular word. So if we count it, it would be the one, two, three, four over. And we're going to actually store this as the position of t. So the position of t is, and brother there. So now we're going to print the position. And we hit refresh, and it spits out four. So for example, again, going into brother, and it searches it, one, two, three, four, it spits out number four. Whereas if we do something like sister, it's going to spit out four again, is it not? Yes, it will, because it's in the fourth position. Whereas father, it's going to spit out three. And what about dad? We'll spit out nothing because there is no T in that particular position. So this will search a long, 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 long. So we can just do a whole bunch like that and then we'll put a T at the end, hit refresh, and it'll spit out 19. So we just typed in 19 characters, put a T at the end, and then you found it. So these are a whole bunch of different things you can do with strings that might come in handy later on as you're doing some programming, especially if you're doing and looking for specific letters or numbers or something inside of an answer that uh, a user might give you on an app that you create. So that is uh, some of the basic things with strings. Use them well and uh, good luck.